Well, hello, human stranger. It is I, Avelina Tumor. And I'm here with part two of my speed paint of the entry I did for By Dark Tales. It is currently 5.21 a.m. as I'm recording this, so I really do hope I can get this done in a timely manner. Because this is the third time I've recorded this, and I tried to record this the first time. At like 3.17 a.m. <laughs> so, here we go. Hopefully, third time's the charm. And then I could go to bed after this. Because I'm quite tired. But I really have... I really don't have the greatest attention span. So I want to give my videos, my longer videos now, a sense of each. That way I can entertain some people because I like watching videos that have boys recording over them. Just because I have an, an attention, the attention span of a fruit fly. And so, hopefully this helps with being able to keep my focus as I am talking. So, anyway, this is the coloring section and... I basically chose the most common color trio that happens, which is like blue, red, and green. But instead of uh, blue, I choose purple because of the fact that it's closer to a gothic color, a common gothic color compared to blue. So, uh, my the first one that I'm coloring right now. As the purple one, and so they're going to be a type of um, small, short, little brown person, basically. Just like me. This one, um, they don't look like what I actually look like, but I wanted them to be brown and small, just because, like, I am also brown and small. So, um, all three of these are European, just because of the fact that um, the brand owner for... By Dark Tales is Russian, I think, and they are located in Russia. But I believe they are moving to Europe for a better, like, studio space, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Ugh. So, all three of them are European just to the fact that the brand is kind of European. And, um, the first one that I was coloring... I, I think maybe they are Indian descent. I was thinking about making them like Arabic or Pakistani descent, but I didn't want to. I think those are kind of like Muslim central religiously. Nothing against those who are religious or Muslim. I just personally am not. And I do not like drawing people who have a religious background unless I'm like super informed on how to represent them so i think in uh indians are hindu and so i only i'm only mentioning that because i don't think they wear like the hijab to cover their head so um i think i'm making them hindu just to do the fact that i didn't want to make them have a hijab and oh yeah they are just descent. Doesn't mean they're religious in any form. It's just like their cultural background. And then the middle one, who is kind of between like UK and Irish descent, wanted to make them a little gingerish, but not super like orange red ginger just because i think since i made them my green character i didn't want their hair to clash with their clothes and also with their friend that's right next to them who is also has red a red outfit color palette for their clothing and they are african descent black i'm not sure which type of african I just wanted to have all three of them to be different ethnic backgrounds. Therefore, there are different colors and different heights and different shapes. Um, oh, and if you guys notice that my voice recording sounds a little crispier, I am trying to record this 
trying. <laughs> Hopefully this is the last time I have to record this. I'm trying to... I am trying... I am recording this on my husband's microphone that he uses for when he plays Apex Legends. Um, because he likes to stream. Because he likes to stream his gameplays that he does with his friends on Twitch. And... He literally just plays Apex Legends every week. The minute he wakes up to like the minute he goes to bed. He is a absolute annoying person to deal with sometimes. But I love him nonetheless. <laughs> I love him and I care for him. He is my best friend. But it can get kind of annoying just hearing him rage. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> anyway. So... What else can I speak about? Oh yeah, he's my gamer boy. And I'm his little goth GF. Well, I'm his waifu, but that's alright. Anyway, um, so currently, my, the bane of my existence right now is not coloring, but actually shading. I absolutely hate the shading and highlighting with an absolute passion. Absolute fucking passion. I hate shading and highlighting just because i just don't understand how to do it yet hopefully one day i'll get better at it and it will be a lot smoother and a lot more pretty i i adore or i admire anybody that can that has figured out how to shade and highlight properly as it is such a nuisance to deal with it can make your drawing, your illustration look so muddy and like so odd if it's not shaded and highlighted correctly. So that is the bane of my existence right now. I'm trying my best to get better. Hopefully once I upload my next um, two-parter. Uh, I still don't think I look. it looks that great, the shading and highlight. But hopefully it's better than this. And I was trying to go as fast as I could with this one because I was on a time crunch because um, I, I had like 15 hours before I had before I turning in the final work basically because if you if you guys watched my first video you would have known this contest I basically decided to do it and I only had like 15 hours left to turn in an entry so I pulled an all-nighter to get it done and so I have about eight hours of recorded footage obviously it's compressed down to only 14 15 ish minutes so that's what I have right here you guys just watching and um it, I only have eight hours basically but I also had like some technical errors on my part I couldn't figure out how to flip an image or a sketch so I had to go to like the clip studio paint community community tab and learn that learn how to flip real quick for this kind of forgot but yeah, I'll get a hang of it eventually then I also accidentally like deleted my mirroring ruler that I was using for my middle person my middle peep uh, so I need to I needed to go download it again because I was trying to save time by just mirroring her all together. But yeah, so uh, highlighting is shit, but it's so right. And oh, I found this very nice paint brush, I guess, very nice brush that I used to make the IB on my middle person's uh, corset. Because I couldn't find uh, the image I based off the clothing for from the brand owner it had this very interesting like swirly design. Ah! The ca my cat just um, jumped on my lap. And she's gonna claw me. So bye cat, go to the floor. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyway, back to my paintbrush. And so they had this little spirally design on their corset and I didn't want to draw it. It looked too... Too much work and i was trying to save time so this brush was a lifesaver once i found it that way i could use it to fill in the corset basically and yeah made it a lot easier 
Oh, and if you guys notice in the candles, the there's like little charms in the candles because that's how the candles actually arrive. They have like cute little gems and trinkets and like rose, not rose, like real rose beds, but like dried out roses and petals and like an allspice. It's like a star shaped spice thingy. I think it's called like star de anise. Um, not sure on that one though. But that comes in with the candle. So yeah, they smell very nice. And they, my candles actually got lost in the mail because of the pandemic. But they showed up like two months later. And I was so like amazed by how they survived. The glass wasn't shattered. The wax didn't melt. And it made its way all the way from Russia to the US and survived the handling of the mailing service so uh quite fascinating with them and all the jewelry except for like well the necklaces i should say is based off of jewelry you can find either in the shop or that the shop creator did or like custom pieces so that's where that is from and yeah there's not much else left to say right now Except that I did try my best to make it all very inclusive and to make it all look nice in the limited time I gave myself because I, I bit off more than what I could chew. And I tried to represent as much of the brand as I could in the drawing by making them all slightly different and have different aesthetics. First one on the left has a more Victorian like aesthetic while the middle one has like a metaphysical shop. Um, witchy like hot librarian garden witch style while well, the middle one has a more like um modern tradition modern gothic look and aesthetic and so yeah at the very end i um found i didn't use the same brush that i used for the pattern i used a different one to create like the cute cool little like edge margin to represent like the scents and fragrances that you can find in the perfumes because their perfumes are like so beautifully scented they're really nice and they smell amazing like i cannot describe how well they smell and then i got their logo that way i could put them on the candles because their candles do come with like a little sticker of their logo and have it in the background because i really do like their design it's a nice moth with like all the moon phases very <laughs> very gothic and a stereotypically goth but still still cute cute nonetheless and i had a hard time trying to figure out the the lettering because i wasn't sure if i wanted to type it out myself or draw it out myself or use one of the already pre-made fonts i couldn't find one that was like gothic enough for what i was trying to do eventually i did settle for one of the fonts because um, I just didn't have the time to mess and make very nice lettering, fancy lettering. And I know you can like download some more fonts with Clip Studio Paint. But I didn't have the time and I didn't want to go search. So this is what I, I did. I made do with what I had. Anyway, um, at the very end I also did end up changing the color of the border because of the fact I thought that it merged too it clashed too much with the dress of the with the red of the first character so I ended up making it like white um I'll have a photo of what I turned in and then a photo of what I ended up like changing and editing at the end and since we're close to the end here's the finished project that I turned in and then here's the finished thing I did after a while uh, let me know which one you guys prefer and any tips and tricks you have. Thank you and have a good night.